The chief of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has said that talks with India on the Super Shukhoi program will be held soon, including the sale of additional 12 Su-30 fighter jets. He also said that MiG-35 will be offered to India under the MRFA tender with 60% transfer of technology, so that it can be fully localized and made in India, and it would also cost 20% less than similar foreign fighter jets. He also added that talks with India on procurement of 21 MiG-29 fighter jets are still on, even though Indian media had reported that the Indian Air Force has dropped plans to procure additional MiG-29, and plans to retire the entire MiG-29 fleet from 2027 onwards. He also stated that after facing sanctions from Western countries, Russia is looking at Indian companies to supply some of the non-Western avionics and systems for its commercial aircraft like the Shukhoi Superjet 100 and the MC-21. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh handed over the FNSA's futuristic infantry soldier system to the Indian Army, Nipun Anti-Personnel Mine, an uncooled handheld thermal imager for surveillance operations, thermal imaging sites for T-90 tank, and landing craft attack for swift operations in Pangong Lake. He also officially handed over the quick reaction fighting vehicle developed by Tatu Advanced Systems, and the infantry protected mobility vehicle to the Indian Army for which a larger order is also expected to be placed very soon. On the sidelines of the ongoing Army Expo 2022 in Russia, the CEO of Rosberon Export has said that Russia is successfully implementing the contract for the delivery of S-400 systems to India, and all five regiments will be delivered by the end of 2023. He also said, that more than 200 Indian specialists have been trained in Russia to operate the S-400 system. Indian Ambassador to Philippines has said that the $375 million contract for the delivery of BrahMos missile to Philippines is progressing well, and the initial delivery to Philippines is expected in 2023. Philippines will get three missile batteries, that will be operated by the Philippine Marine Corps shore-based anti-ship missile battalion that was activated on 3rd April. <laughs> National Aerospace Laboratories is all set to start manufacturing of the Saras Mark II light transport aircraft in the next few weeks, and plans to roll out the first aircraft by 2024. The Saras Mark II has been designed for operations from short runways, and can operate from hot and high airfields including semi-prepared runways. The Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited has announced, that it has successfully indigenized the 18 kW starter generator used in T-90 main battle tank, and now there will be no need to import the system from Russia, that would negate the import cost of 7 crore rupees every year. The Air Forces of India and Malaysia have culminated the Udara Shakti Joint Air Exercise 2022, with a traditional closing ceremony hosted by the Royal Malaysian Air Force. The ceremony was marked with a seven aircraft formation fly past by both air forces. The Indian Air Force contingent will now move on to Darwin, Australia, to take part in the Exercise Pitch Black 2022.